Here is our tire inflator. We're going to start from the chuck and work our way down to the body. Now, first thing, uh, we're just going to replace this chuck. We have a full rebuild of all of our Hippo uh, and Euro clip-on chucks in separate videos. So if you just want to know how to replace the seal in here, uh, check the, uh, uh, the videos in the description. But otherwise, it just simply unscrews with a 5 8 and a 9 16 wrench. And you could put a different chuck on. You could put a, uh, a quick switch coupler on, and that'll allow you to use different chucks. Uh, but it's pretty basic there. Uh, I'm going to put this back on. And don't worry about this O-ring. Um, sometimes they can get a little uh, flattened, and that's not a problem. Just until it's tight. Okay. All right, so next we're going to change out this hose. Um, all our hoses are made for this new body. So they just unscrew. You get the replacement, and it screws into its place. So this is handy if you have a two foot and you want to go over to a six foot hose or vice versa. You can swap them out really simply like that. The other cool thing about our current hoses is they have the same threads on both ends. It's a quarter NPT compatible thread, uh, which means it also fits uh, BSP, but uses this O-ring to seal instead of uh, the typical tapered threads. And again, just screws in. Everything is real basic on our tire inflators. They're made to be rebuildable. Okay. Okay, so we're going to show you how to change this gauge, and while we're in the, at it, we're going to upgrade it to a digital. It's a direct swap. Just go at the base of the gauge and unscrew. For this one, it is easier. If you put it in a vise, and I'm going to use this towel to protect the finish. This, this red thread adapter may come out with it, not a big deal. Just unscrew the whole thing. These are both 9 16 so I'm going to use my adjustable wrench. Get that off. Okay, and then since there's no O-ring, this is a tapered thread, we're going to put a drop of blue Loctite. It's a little bit too much. Okay. And this is a little tricky if you have large wrenches like I do, but it's not impossible. A narrow wrench would make it uh, a little easier, especially on these digital gauges. But we're just going to take it slow. And there we go. All right. Don't be one of those guys. Take the cover off. And then the last thing we'll show you on this is how to service the piston. So uh, if over time you can get dirt and debris in your piston, just needs a little cleaning. Eight millimeter wrench into this cap. Watch out, it doesn't spring away from you. All right, spring, piston. This piston only has three O-rings. Take our rebuild kit. And we'll just, uh, so typically you just need to wipe that down, re-lube it with silicone grease or dielectric grease. 
But in this case, we're gonna swap out all the O-rings. Do ones go on? All right. Take your silicone grease packet included with the rebuild kit. Just a little bit. Okay, last thing, we'll change the O-ring on our cap. Okay, and goes back together. And there we go. Fully rebuildable tire inflator, unlike anything else on the market. This one is also gonna last you 15 plus years if you take good care of it.